Hello, everybody, and welcome to... Are you ready? Wait for it. Here it comes. Woohoo! What's new in Corel Painter 2017? Okay, I know that title is kind of cheesy. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm going to be able to go woohoo every time I start a video, but who knows? I might. Um, but what it what that woohoo does do is it expresses what I think about the new Corel Painter 2017. I love it. I think it's one of the best new painters we've had in quite some time. Now, what you're looking at at this moment is a Corel Painter 2017 just after it's opened. And what we have on screen is our welcome window. Now, if you're not new to Corel Painter, then you've seen the welcome window and you kind of know what it's about. Little changes happen to them uh, every version, but basically it's the same. Now, I'm not going to talk about it right now, but I will in a later video. I'm going to close it now and let's just talk about the class and what's going to happen in the class. Okay, the class is not really a beginning class, okay? It's not for the beginner exactly, because I'm not going to be talking about old stuff. I'm going to be talking about new stuff. But it is a class for a beginner, as well as a class for an advanced user or an old-time user of Corel Painter. Why? Because when you're talking about new stuff and a new version, we're all beginners. So everything we're going to be talking about will be new and it will be good for beginners and old-timers alike. Now, if you're a beginner, as well as an advanced uh, user, you might get lost. You might need some help in some other part of the program that's not new. That's fine. Put the question in the question forums for the week that you're having the issue. And I will try to answer it or help you. Or if not, I will at least direct you to where you can get the answer easily. Okay, but just try to remember, we're really going to focus on the new stuff, not the old stuff. Okay, so I'm going to go up here to the help menu and click on it. And then I'm going to go to help topics. Now that will open up a browser that will take you directly to uh, Corel Painter 2017's help files. And that's the best place for us to go to learn what's new in Corel Painter 2017. So I'm going to click on that link and again on what's new in this version of Corel Painter. And that's going to open up to all of this stuff that's new. So these are the kinds of things we're going to be talking about in the class. We're going to talk about the new texture painting. Now that that is truly amazing. I think you're going to be really surprised. It's it's primarily it was made for 3D people and you could paint directly over these 3D models, but it's got so much more going for it. You, can, you it's, it's almost like another way to clone, but in a much more creative way than the cloning uh, method. So I, I'm really excited about talking about the new texture painting. Then we have the new interactive gradient tool. Um, I, you know, I didn't use gradients that much until we started working with Painter 2017 and looking at all of the different ways that we can work with a gradient with Painter. Along with the gradient, uh, new gradient tool or interactive gradient tool, we have the great, we have gradient express painting. And I think you're going to be really surprised by that. I, I, I love this technique. And I've got a few tricks up my sleeve to show you uh, with that particular new feature. Then we have a new another new type of brush called dab stencils. I, listen, you know, if you know anything about me, you know I love to work with texture. And this, these brushes give you a whole new way to work with textures, either paper textures, flow map textures, or the new textures that we use with the texture brushes. Then we have the new glazing brushes. Now, these glazing brushes are really exciting for people who work with comics or folks that work in uh, 
the conceptual art feel. Uh, but what's surprising is I think we're going to really love them, those of us who like to work in a more traditional format. It took me a minute or two to get used to these, but once I did, I've been really, really surprised at how interesting they are. We have an enhanced dropper tool that allows us to select colors in a different way than we have before. We have new palette drawers, which is probably one of my favorite things. I, I, you're going you're gonna to be amazed at the palette drawers. We have enhanced property bars, which, uh, you know, what's su going to surprise you, I think, is the way I've always worked is, um, you know, I've worked with a simple layout, and but I have three monitors, and I would always throw things off on another monitor where it was out of my way and I could keep it open all the time and grab it anytime I wanted it. That's not the case anymore. Um, I am this, all of these new layouts and palette drawers and so forth have redefined my workspace and the way I work in painter. And we have the enhanced brush selector panel, which I think a lot of people want because it's something you can open up and it doesn't close every time you uh, click on a new brush. And then finally, we've got what's called enhanced artist layouts. Now, I think they're just referred to as layouts in the actual program, but these are similar to the previous layouts, which were called, um, what did we call them previously? Arrangements, arranged palettes. That's what they were called before. And they're now called artist layouts. And with the use of these enhanced property bars and palette drawers, these layouts are much, much more useful. Okay, so that's a kind of a overview of the stuff we're going to talk about broadly. You know that when we get into each one of these things, you know how I am. I'll, you know, go off in directions <laughs> and create way more videos than we ever thought we would ever want to watch. And I'll try to keep them all fairly short. This one is way over my time limit, but it's the first one and it gives you a bit of an under uh, overview of what the class is about. Okay, enjoy, and I will talk to you later in the next videos. Okay, bye-bye.